hey, what's going on? Glad you stopped by to hang out with me for a few minutes today. Well, I got an odd one here today for the NES called Caveman Games. <laughs> This is a collection of mini games, sort of like the Caveman Olympics. You got fire starting, dino vaulting, where you pole vault over a dinosaur and try not to get eat. <laughs> you have the saber tooth tiger run, where you're running from a tiger. Uh, you're racing dinosaurs, and there's sort of a clubbing event where you're on top of a platform trying to knock each other off. None of them are great per se, but they are worth a few laughs. <laughs> it's a very interesting game. I don't know who thought of this or why they <laughs> thought to put this on the game. It is a two player game, so you can play against each other, get some trash talking going. So there is that. And like I said, there, there's a lot of laughs to be had with this. Are any of the mini games spectacularly great? Not really. But it's not bad. There are way worse games on the NES. And I feel like I've played a lot of them here through Halloween and Christmas. But anyway, I'll show you what this one's about today. So here's Caveman Games for the NES. Let's go. Not the worst intro song I've ever heard. <laughs> so let's see here. You got six players picked from. Hard to read that text. Glunk, Crudla, Fag, Vincent, Rob Gronkowski, and Ugga. Let's go with Gronk. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't care where he comes from. So you can do practice mode, you can play all the games, the restart takes you back to select characters and how many players in the cave of fame shows records, but it has no battery pack. So you cut it off, the records are gone. <laughs> so it's only while you're playing. We'll go ahead and do the whole thing here and go through it. Show you all the events. Clubbing. For some reason, it starts you off with a little intimidation phase here, it calls it. You just move the D-pad around to make them do that. I don't know. So you got three moves. You can hit them in the face, oh, hit them in the knee, or hit them over the head. Uh-oh. Hey, 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 hey. And of course, you want to push them back to the edge and make them fall. Ah. <laughs> Quit it. Quit it. Whew. So there's one. <laughs> I don't get the point of this part. Not nah, he's trying to get me to look. If you just keep pushing them to one side, it's really all you gotta do is keep button mashing. <laughs> this game is all about the button mashing. Oh, this is my favorite one, the mate toss. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> oh Lord. All right, here we go. It's gonna be pretty good.
Yeah, that's a good one. Can we get 90 feet? Yep. <laughs> you throw her 100 feet and she gets up and dances about it. 93 foots. All right, let's try this again. Oh no! I didn't get my angle right. I went for too much. <laughs> Eh, 46 foot. All right, I got to get it this time. There we go. It's going to be better. <laughs> I almost threw her out of the screen. <laughs> The dino vault. So you got a pole vault over a dinosaur. And you better make it over him or he will eat you. <laughs> this is just a button mashing one. Mash the A button, get up your speed, and when you get close to the dinosaur, you hit hold B to plant the pole, and as you're going up, you gotta let off a of B at the right time to get a good arc over the dinosaur. Maybe I can do it. Hit it a little early there, but <laughs> still made it. <laughs> we'll see if I can mess up and let it eat me one time. Probably can't do it on purpose. You can fall down in the cliff there too. <laughs> Bad vault. Oh God, I don't like this one. Another button masher. The dinosaur is slow and stupid. You hit the B button and you whack him in the butt with your club to make him jump and it's a delayed jump because you gotta and then, he, uh, and then you can knock him over the head and make him take off in like a turbo run. But then sometimes you be running along and hit the jump button and he just stops. This one can be annoying. See there? What? Stupid dinosaur. Get the turbo run going here. Come on, come on. Oh, 
Man, you need a turbo controller for this. <sighs> Man. The only turbo controller I have is the Turbo Touch 360. And it sucks. Fire starter. Uh, got my, another button masher here. So this one, you're rubbing two sticks together as fast as you can, and when your embers start falling, you got to blow on it. You hold up and down, up, draws in air, down, blows down on it, and you can also hit the guy beside you because you're in a race to see who can start a fire first. You can club him over the head to slow him down. <laughs> Hit him. Hit him, hit him. There we go. There the embers are falling. There we got a little smoke coming. Come on. Oh, I'm dizzy. Ah. Oh, he hit me. God. He cheated. He cheated. Yeah. <laughs> Ready, set, ugh. Come on, come on, come on. Whew. If you blow out too much is when you start getting dizzy. So you have to pull in air before you blow out air to keep from getting dizzy. <laughs> The saber race. Okay, you're racing against another person, and there's a saber tooth tiger behind you, and you can hit the other player, and knock them backwards. <laughs> they can also hit you and knock you backwards. Another button masher. Oh, he hit me right off the bat. You wait till I catch you. <laughs> if you go off the screen at the top you come out at the bottom there and then it's hard to see where the obstacles are coming up <laughs> run run he's coming Oh no! That was dirty. Right at the finish line. <laughs> that was it. That was the six mini games on Caveman Games. It's okay playing with two player. Some of it gets pretty funny, some trash talking to be had. A lot of laughs here, at least. <laughs> they would have, could have, should have put a little more into this. But they didn't. It's a cheap game you can pick up. If you want to pick up one to throw in just to have a few laughs, it's worth that, at least. Nothing groundbreaking here. But anyway, there you go. There's Caveman Games. Thanks for stopping by to hang out with me for a few minutes today. I'll see you next time.